Good evening and thank you for joining us. Nora is off tonight. I'm Tony DeCopel and we begin in Afghanistan where the final stage of America's longest war is playing out amid a relentless advance by the Taliban. It now controls nearly all the major cities and is within 50 miles of Kabul. A Pentagon spokesman says the military is concerned by the speed of the Taliban advance and the lack of resistance by the Afghan army. President Biden spoke by phone with his national security team about the deteriorating situation. And tonight, the first American troops arrived to assist in a drawdown at the U.S. Embassy, with evacuation flights ramping up for American diplomats and Afghan citizens alike. CBS's Roxana Saberi is going to lead off our coverage tonight. She's inside Kabul, where conditions are changing rapidly. Good evening, Roxana. Tony, the Pentagon spokesman said the bulk of the U.S. troops will arrive here in the capital this weekend. He also said the Taliban are not yet threatening an immediate attack on Kabul, but they're closing in fast. More than two-thirds of the country is now in the hands of the Taliban. Today, they seized the capital of Helmand province, where U.S. troops once fought some of their bloodiest battles. We are certainly concerned by... Uh, the speed with which the Taliban has been moving. Now they're eyeing what would be their biggest prize of all. For now, daily life here in the capital, Kabul, appears to be carrying on more or less as usual. But many people here fear this way of life could soon come to an end. Banafsha Rahimi says her family plans to remain here, but as a woman who studied on an American scholarship, she needs to flee. You're afraid of being killed if the yeah, Taliban come here. Yeah, I'm afraid of being killed. Like it's, I'm like I'm, not, I'm like totally sure that I will not survive here. She has reason to fear. This video posted on social media appears to show a Taliban fighter counting 14 bodies, all with their hands bound behind their backs. At least one is a boy, executed for fighting back. As the Taliban have gained ground, they've also gained strength, picking up the spoils of war left behind by retreating Afghan forces. And more fighters after releasing Taliban prisoners, like in the city of Logan, are only around 50 miles from Kabul. And Afghanistan's government is clearly feeling the pressure. Tonight, the defense ministry called on all Afghans ages 18 to 50 to join the army to protect the country, especially the capital. Tony? Roxana Saberi in Kabul for us. Roxana, thank you very much.